Is dating advice manipulation? Yes. Here's the hard cold truth, my man. Everybody is a manipulator, whether you like it or not. In your life, you're either manipulating other people, failing to manipulate other people, or being manipulated by others yourself. From your friends telling you what's cool and what's not cool. From people on YouTube trying to influence you to take actions that are actually gonna improve, improve your life, or from the baby who cries to get his parents to feed him. Every single person manipulates or gets manipulated. Now here's the thing, manipulation is not bad, all right? And the only reason I'm making this video is because I've gotten a couple of comments on one of my videos specifically that talks about how to control the frame. It's called How to Control the Frame. And I talk about frame control and the different frames that girls and guys could have and what frames you should choose to attract women. I talk about that in that video and a girl, her name is Sarah, she said, this is just manipulation. Yes, Sarah, it's fucking manipulation. Everybody's manipulating. And I'll come back to this in a second, but another comment I got was, this sounds effective, but also sounds like manipulation or like I'm sp supposed to ignore my true personality and act like someone I'm not to get with girls I'm not compatible with. Yes, it is manipulation, it is influencing, but it's not pretending to be someone you're not. And if you think that it is, then you miss the whole point of the video. You miss the, the lesson about frames here. So let me, let me make this point right now. I have a glass here, a glass of water, and you likely heard this example, but I'm gonna make the fucking point because obviously it's not setting in here, okay? So I have a glass of water. Let me ask you this. Is this glass of water mostly full or partly empty? All right, think about that. Right? Is this mostly full or partly empty? Because you can take this same exact situation and look at this, but have two completely different points of view. Because if I think that this glass is mostly em or partly empty, then I'm gonna be mad at whoever filled this up because I want a full cup, right? Or I can choose to go, man, there's more than enough water in here. I'm grateful for it. It's the same exact situation, but a different outcome, a different state of mind, a different outlook on life. So if I approach a girl and she says something to me like, what, is that your pickup line? One guy could choose to think, okay, well, um, she is clearly a bitch and she clearly is mean and she doesn't like me and she's not interested and I'm just gonna leave because I don't wanna deal with this shit, right? Or another guy could go, wow, this girl, she's got some wittiness to her. I like it, she's trying to banter with me. Let's see where this goes. And then he comes back with something witty to say and he says, yeah, of course it's my pickup line. Now what are you gonna do about it? How you choose to view that situation will completely dictate the outcome here. It'll dictate what you do next. It'll dictate how she responds to you next. This isn't bad and this isn't manipulation in the negative sense of the word, it's just influence is just choosing to see the glass half full rather than half empty. Different frames lead to different outcomes. So let me read you a quote. It's from a guy named Blair Warren. He wrote a book called The Forbidden Keys to Persuasion. And here's what he said about manipulation. He said, truth is, Everyone is a manipulator. Good people, bad people, young people, old people, none of us can escape this one. If we are going to survive, we are going to manipulate. Of course, no one likes to think of himself or herself in this way. Sure, other people man manipulate, but not me. Now granted, some people won't go out and do it intentionally, but don't be misled. They'll go out and manipulate just the same. You can count on it. Why? Because manipulation is a part of our very existence. We manipulate the environment, we manipulate people, and we manipulate circumstances all in an effort to meet our needs and ensure our survival. All right, manipulation is not a bad thing. It's a fact of life. And manipulation is not, is not coercing other people into believing you're, that you're someone that you're not. All it is is influencing the situation however you see fit, all right? Like I said, from the clothes you wear to the products you buy, from the actions you take, you are likely manipulated into all of those things. And every single time you leave a comment on a video, you're trying to manipulate others into seeing your comment and changing their beliefs based on that comment, right? If you leave a positive comment, other people are gonna see that and it's gonna manipulate them into seeing the video in a positive light. If you leave a comment, this is just manipulation, that's your shitty attempt to manipulate other people scrolling through the comments and believing that this video has a negative message. It's a shitty attempt at manipulation. So like I said, the truth of the fact, of the matter, of the world, is you are either manipulating others, failing to manipulate others, or being manipulated yourself. And once you
you accept this fact, you'll start to see the matrix and you can actually start to manipulate and influencing others and situations into win-win situations, all right? So this is not a bad thing, it's a fact of life. Is dating advice manipulation? Is dating advice influence and persuasion? Yes, of course, but you are not pretending to be someone that you're not. You're just coming from a great, positive, value-giving frame and constantly improving yourself every single day. So now the question becomes, should you pretend to be someone that you're not or choose a frame that's not congruent to your personality? Couple of thoughts on this. No, you should never try to be someone that's not congruent to you. If you try to be a badass and you never smile and you stand here like this all the time but you're really not a badass, don't try to be a badass, right? That's not a value giving frame. You're missing the point here. Come from a, a, a frame of you're going to see everything in a positive light. You're gonna to choose to see the glass mostly full and you're gonna go from there. But you're not gonna to try to be someone that you're not. That said, you're always gonna to try to be improving yourself. So personally, like when I first approached a girl for the very first time, I probably found it very hard to try to come from a, a, a glass half full frame. It was very hard for me to see things that she was saying to me in a positive light and then responding in a good way, right? It was hard, but I constantly looked at my mistakes. I constantly looked at what worked and what didn't work and I made those changes over time. And that's all you gotta do. So yeah, maybe one year from now, after taking actions every single day that are gonna constantly be improving yourself and giving yourself more reference experience, you will be a different person. You will be someone that you are not currently. But you're not pretending to be that person. You're just constantly working towards becoming that person. So let me ask you this to close out this video. Are you gonna be the type of guy who uses the word manipulation to frame things as negative things so you can manipulate others into not taking action and not improving their lives? Or are you going to accept the fact that manipulation is a part of every single thing that happens in your life and move on with that fact? Are you going to choose to use it in a positive light? Are you gonna choose positive frames that are actually gonna help you get the girl or are you gonna sit back and cry and type hide behind your keyboard and you know claim that other people are manipulating you and you don't wanna be a part of that manipulation scheme, okay? Because the truth of the matter is, if you wanna actually get the girl, if you wanna actually improve your life, if you wanna succeed at actually influencing others in a positive way, you have to become a conscious manipulator. You have to know when others are trying to manipulate you and choose if you're gonna let it happen. You have to consciously know that you're going to have to influence your way through this life to get what you want, okay? It's just a fact of life, so accept it right now. Stop being soft, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you like this video, if you like this message, click the like button down below, and if you aren't already subscribed and part of the Raw Dating Advice family, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Join the Raw Dating Advice family by hitting that subscribe button. And lastly, if you wanna pick up my book, 107 Proven Ways to Get the Girl, this has been out for a couple of weeks now and we're almost out. I only printed 500 copies of these and I'm giving them away for free. All you have to do is pay for the shipping and handling and I'll ship this to you anywhere in the world. And if you wanna grab a copy of this book before we run out, just go to howtogetthegirlnow.com. Like I said, we're running out fast. So, howtogetthegirlnow.com. And did I just attempt to influence you, to manipulate you into grabbing my book that'll potentially change your life? You're damn right.